everybody, I'm Dr. Pastanak. This is my little helper, Riley. Today we're going to do a short video on how to make homemade tick tubes. So the whole point of making tick tubes is to try to reduce the tick population on your yard at home. So now that it's spring, a lot of ticks are um, just hatching and there's the little baby ones and they attach most to mice. So as of right now, they're um, almost too small to attach to humans and deer, but each mouse, yeah. each mouse can carry up to 100 ticks. So the whole point of the tick tubes is to try to reduce that tick population at the source. What we need is um, a pretty common um, insecticide called permethrin. So you can get this online. It's yeah. pretty inexpensive and even at some hardware stores. So permethrin is really great at killing insects, but it does not harm animals um, or rodents. And so with this, what we want to do is soak some cotton balls Mommy, with the permethrin and uh, basically just stick the soaked cotton balls in a little bit of tubing. So we use PVC piping um, to make them at our house. And what will happen is the mice will find these. We just put them around our yard. Um, we have about an acre property and we make probably 10 of these. And we put them in the spots where mice are most likely to go. So any sort of like brushy area or our wood piles. So the mice will go in the tick tubes and get the cotton balls. And then they'll bring the cotton balls back to their nest. and. With the cotton balls being soaked in permethrin, all of the ticks that are on that mouse are going to um, ideally die from being in contact mm -hmm. with that permethrin. Yeah. So it's pretty yeah. easy. All you need is a bag, gloves, which I would be using more protection if I was actually going to open this up. Um, definitely gloved with both hands and not by a little one and some cotton balls. And again, we use PVC piping about a foot length. Um, I know some other resources yeah. say and to use um, just like paper I towel, paper towel bag um, tubes. However, they're not gonna hold up uh, that well with the rain. So all you'll yeah. do is put your cotton balls in your little baggie carefully and outside. The um, bottle for this has all the safety instructions on proper hand handling, but you'll just pour this over all of the cotton balls and let them soak. And again, definitely with a gloved hand, you would just take the soaked cotton balls, shove them in the tick tubes. It doesn't have to be completely full because you do want a little bit of room for the mice to be able to go in. Um, so we do, we fill them about the center third and just take these and place them around your yard. And that's it. So hopefully this will be one good uh, resource to help reduce the tick population. And I think it's important now that it's spring, but also with yep. so many people <laughs> spending increased it. time outside with all the COVID. So we hope My you stay safe. Thanks, bye.